This is an inverter, right? The inverter is bidirectional, meaning it inverts, right? Only the daisy chain goes out from the back, then connects to the battery, and this whole PC is this cabinet. We also have transformers here, right? Just this. It's like directly converting this um, from 410 volts to a 33 kilovolt transformer. This is just like a POC, but it's the controller for the transmission system of the new transmission system. CUCU320 works on the same principle as a PLC, but it's designed like this to control this type. During the flat period, it has many built-in parameters, tens of thousands of parameters, which are parameterized. It controls the frequency converter, yes. What is this here? This is the expensive PPC. Indeed, there is a PLC, which can be called PPC abroad. That is the M. That is the HT1500 PLC. Their SBP's SCP is a bit more complex than this cabinet. That cabinet controls a bunch of eight such cabinets, and it has an MC, meaning each PC has this, and all PCs are gathered into a main PLC cabinet called NBC. This meter roughly monitors the network before the switchgear cabinet, and it can perform bi-directional detection. If there is reverse power flow, it will give me a signal to trip it. Got it. And this one is similar to this meter, almost like one meter. Just one to initiate an arc, and another to add an arc detection. Without arc detection, that is, it looks like two meters. You see, they look the same, except that one is placed outside. They are debugging it, and that arc, that is, the arc protection, is controlled by it. The signal is directly given to me through the POC and then to my PLC, which has a point there. After the PLC receives the signal, it then controls the PC. It's not a direct connection. It has to go through the PLC, not a direct hard point connection. Uh, this, this is the code for the main circuit. Once the power grid comes in, the main circuit is switched on. You see, when I switch on the main circuit here, it remotely indicates that the circuit is on. Once it's connected, the transformer, it first precharges to ensure that the entire plant doesn't trip. The box is reinforced with resistors. The resistor is the load, isn't it, right? If you're not part of the platform, for example, after it's powered, what do you do? It consumes electricity through it, consuming some electricity to reduce the load. It's like an online replica. This PLC is a small PLC from the smart series. It's what does it control? And it controls the service load. 